Yeah, I mean, you know, in a lot of our Bobby McMahon, he's not the only one, but a lot of other guys that we've had on the show have said the same thing. Uh, maybe in 2014 we have the kind of uh, defense that we really need to make a run. Um, you know, we're we're looking at guys like Tim Ream. We're asking a lot for that young guy to step up by 2014. We're asking a lot for Omar Gonzalez to step up by 2014 because certainly, well, it looks like Bocanegra wants to stick around, but Gooch doesn't seem to be even sniffing any playing time um, right now with AC Milan. So it looks like, um, you know, the center back position is still our most tentative, scary, frankly, uh, spot for us uh, at the the, the men's level and then on the wings we've got all kinds of different guys that might still be growing or you know you got specter at west ham you've got uh well we debated how to pronounce this guy's name <laughs> lichage lichage lehigh. yeah lehigh <laughs> you know whatever you want to call him if but he, if he gets on the team at aston villa then you know he's got to be an option to call up he's been on the substitutes bench yeah. You know, for Aston Villa. This, I believe uh, he also played uh, He played in their uh, Europa match, didn't he? He's a Was young... Europa? That's right. He's a young yeah. kid, and he seems to have really impressed some folks at Aston Villa. So, you know, if you can get a guy like that playing in the English Premier League at that level, playing against some of the best teams in the world, then he looks rather promising rather than some of the people like Alston or... Uh, you know what? I still want to see Alston brought on. Um mm-hmm. Uh, I have o- I've been overly impressed with him. Um, I haven't really noticed him of late, though, to tell you the truth. So I don't know what his current form is, but I know that when I have seen him play, he's he's been a rock on that that side of the field, the right side. So yeah, uh, maybe maybe Camp Cupcake is going to be his best option to get brought in. Yeah. For those who don't know what Camp Cupcake is, it's the January camp where it's usually the Scandinavian and MLS teams uh, or players right uh, coming in to Not play other Scandi uh, teams right. Um, maybe that's his best option to come out and impress. Mm-hmm. He was going to play last Camp Cupcake, but then he got injured like a week before, which yep. was a shame. But Well, happens. another guy with a lot of speed and maybe not all the ability yet that he needs, kind of like we remember when. Um, again, guy with a lot of speed, not yet a fully developed game. And uh, there are a lot of those kids out there. So... I guess the bottom line is, as far as Bob Bradley is concerned, do we trust Bob in the next four years to make all the right decisions and get all the right players in place? And let's face it, you know, 80% of that is not going to be his problem. That's going to be the players at their clubs and their teams. So uh, let's let's just say, say it right now. Am I disappointed that Bob Bradley was renamed the coach, even though I love Bob Bradley? Yeah. Is it the worst thing that could have happened? No. Um, I suppose they could have given the job to Precky or something. And I love Precky, too, but that would have been a, a, a totally you know, new, well, fresh it start. Wouldn't, it wouldn't have been an improvement. If anything, it right. would have been a lateral move at best. Exactly. Because we don't know what Precky would be like as a national team coach. Um, and that, that's my argument there. If we weren't going to pick up Klinsman or some other you know, foreign-based um, manager. Had to be big. Yep. It had. It's, you know what? It was going to be Bradley because, you know, we could have gone with uh, Kinnear. We could have gone with Nickel. We could have gone with Precky, uh, Siggy. But, you know what? I, don't, I really don't know if those would be any better options, to tell you the truth. Um, Nickel, maybe because of his playing record. Right. Or his playing history. But outside that, I, I, don't, I really don't see it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Um any of those other guys uh, would have been uh, Steve Nickel would have been fine with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, is is it a lateral move? I don't know. I mean, in some cases it is, and in in some cases it is it isn't because Steve Nickel does bring a lot of intangibles with him. Uh, Siggy Schmidt, same thing. Uh, but you know what? Those guys are uh, pretty engrossed with their clubs right now. They really haven't been involved in the United States men's team picture at all at the youth level or any other level for some Sing time has. He had a for some time teams, I believe. right yeah. for some time and so um maybe bob was really the only decision left at this point outside of klinsman who everyone was for the most part was clamoring for there were a few dissenters but 
It would have been nice. It would have been exciting. It might have changed the landscape. But it is what it is, Brett. Right? I mean, we got to live with it. So let's, like, get behind Bob, I guess. I think given the uh, state of uh, the U.S. Soccer Federation, uh, their financial standards, uh, Klinsman was going to be our really only true option outside of another MLS coach. So yeah. Even at that point, I don't know what Klinsman was asking for, but it's not like the uh, it's not like the USSF was is really banking. You know they they can't afford too much. So right, right. Well, like I said, it is what it is, and I think everybody now the decision has been made, and there's there's no you know there's no guarantees here. Let's say Bob just and, and the U.S. team just flops during the Gold Cup um, in the next couple of years. Bob may be gone. Yep. But while he's here, let's get behind Bob Bradley. We know he has the talent, the ability, the brain, uh, the analytic skills, the knowledge of the game in general, worldwide. He knows all the players. He knows all the teams. He knows the opponents. He knows the other countries. So uh, let's get behind Bob as it is now and, and, and hope that uh, he can make sort of a transformation and keep it fresh, if you will. My last comment of the vidcast is that I understand people's frustrations, but I don't understand it when people are claiming that they hope that the U.S. don't qualify so that Bob gets canned, or they hope that something terrible happens to the U.S. squad as a whole. You know, yeah. that, that's that's not fandom. Those aren't true fans of the team. They might claim they are, but that's that's terrible. That's the worst you can do. No, it's just selfish. You know yeah. what that is? That's selfish. If you're a selfish person, that's kind of what you hope would happen. To get rid of Bob Bradley. But if you're a true U.S. fan, you're hoping Bob actually makes that transformation, actually does take a step yep. forward and, and takes his team to the next level. So uh, for Brett and I, uh, we will talk to you and hear from you, hopefully down the line. Just uh, remember to email us, and I'm flashing it up now, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Straight Red Card. <laughs>